Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali if you're new and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. If you are new, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, Oh, wait, what? So for today's video, I have for you guys another Shop My Stash with me, but today I will be recreating this look right here. And so we are going to Shop My Stash specifically to find products that I can use to make this makeup look. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into picking out the makeup. All right, you guys. So as usual, starting in this store, but I think what I'm going to try today is probably this and this together and for concealer let's just use our heart for concealer Ooh. and then for foundation i feel like i haven't used this one in a while so let's go ahead and use this feel good skin i want something from like bronzy today so let's use that and then let's use it you know what? I never. Well, I don't use that cream blush either. Okay, we'll stick with that cream blush. But let's go down to this drawer, which is the face palette. Mm, let's use this one from LA Girl. Because I believe it has like a bronzer shade in there. Yeah, bronzer and blush shade. So let's go ahead and use that palette for blush and bronzer. And I guess we can pick out a single highlighter. And let's use this poof. Okay. Form physician's formula one for um eyeshadow i need something that has like a gold and bronzes in it so i'm gonna go ahead and use this one here but then i also need something that has a deep blue glitter in it and i'm not sure actually i think that this big profusion one might have a blue deep blue don't have a deep blue glitter I need something with a blue glitter in it so this one doesn't have it let's use that for eyeshadow primer um let's see this has like a blue purple one right there let's leave that one out just in case let me see what i have that's high end i don't think any of these have a deep blue glitter in it <laughs> pink and purple and that one doesn't oh look this one does have that blue glitter we'll see we'll take out both of those for the blue glitter maybe we can mix them and get the color we're looking for okay and now for brows i have really been loving using a pomade so the pomade that i'm going to use today is i never used that i need to just get rid of that because it's not the right color Mm. Use the LA girl. Brian gets in here and just throws all my stuff all over the place. For mascara, let's use Heart Surfer Curl. Um, we're not going to do any liner, but we do need blue eyeliner, which is right here. And then for your brow gel, let's use the Meet Me Brow. And lashes. Always my favorite drawer. Um, I want to use my Sugared Cosmetics ones, but I don't want the big, big one. So let's see. We can either choose. Let's use these ones. I don't know which ones these are. So I have Snap Sugar. Let's see. This one's Snap. So let's use snack. What I have snack, sugar, and something else. What is this though? Spice. I'm looking at spice, kind of want to switch. Now we're going to stick with snack. And for lips, we need something very brown and very nude. So taking out my cafe lip liner and my dark brown lip liner. And I think a clear gloss will be best. Let's use this one. I never reach for this. This Lux gloss. 
and for sprays Ooh, or should i use this one as my priming spray mm, let's use both and now i gotta go to the car and get my lash glue and my tweezers okay so now that we have picked out the makeup let's go ahead and get into applying it if you can hear some talking i am watching um raquel's video for today today's thursday the 8th which is also her birthday so you may see this till next week but happy birthday girl so yeah let's go ahead i'm gonna pull back my hair um i thought i put two bobby pins over here so what we're gonna do is <laughs> grab the bangs and surrounding hair and pin it back okay let me find out this is how i'm gonna wear my hair today you know, some days it's just not a bang type of day, so. I'm glad that curls are more forgiving and they kind of give you some slack. So whenever I do feel like pinning back my bangs, it's not a hassle if I don't feel like being a bang girl. So yeah, let's go ahead. I might need one more bobby pin to actually wear my hair like this. But. All right, guys, so now we can actually get into priming. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the hard candy primer. And now I'm going in with the elf one, just in this area. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start on the brows. Now I'm gonna use the Item Beauty Brow Pencil, and I'm actually only gonna use this to outline. I really love this brow pencil for filling them all the way in, but since we're going in with the pomade today as well, I'm only gonna use this to outline. Okay, so now that we have our brows outlined, let's go ahead and go in with the brow pomade. We're using our LA Girl Brow Pomade. And this is one that you kind of have to be very, very light-handed with because a little bit of it goes a long way. And that's what I like about brow pomades, that as long as you seal them up real good, and they don't dry out, they last you forever. Like, it's like the never-ending brow product. So now that brows are done, we are just gonna go ahead and clean them up. I like how soft they look. Like, yes, they're big, but <laughs> the actual application of them is soft, if that's making any kind of sense. So let's go ahead and clean them up. We're going to use our concealer with our Alamar Cosmetics brush and just go ahead and start lining them bad boys up. Okay, so it is now time to start on the, okay, anyways, now time to start on the eyes. So we are gonna go ahead and go in with our CoverGirl um, primer and then we're just gonna blend that out with our fingers. Okay, so before I start, I need to take one more look at this makeup look. Okay, so I got a screenshot of what the makeup look looks like. So we're gonna try it. So as you guys can see, it's almost like a purpley brown tone and then the crease is very, very soft. So, I mean, we're gonna try. Y'all know my looks don't ever come out how I be intending for them to come out. And I honestly don't even know what products she used. So, I mean, I don't know. I wonder if she lists them. I don't think she said what products she used, but we are gonna go ahead and start. And so to set our lid, we're going in with this shade right here called Dreamin which is just a matte cream shade as always. And using my favorite brush, which is this Morphe brush. I still don't know what it's called. Now we're taking this Morphe M518 brush. Actually, this one actually has a number on it. And so since the crease in that video is so, so soft, I think I'm gonna take, um, yeah, this shade right here, which is called New Beginnings and lightly put that into our crease. Oh, and this is the LA Girl Break Free eyeshadow palette. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, because it was like a purpley toned brown and it was very, very soft, I think I'm gonna go in with this one lightly and only put it on the inner and outer edges of the eye. Oh, and that shade is called Beauty. Okay, so there we go. And now she has that really, really pretty gold. So I'm gonna take this shade right here in Queen and we're just gonna tap that on with our finger to the center of our lid. Let's just spray it and see if it pops just a tiny bit more. There we go. And then just always blend in, you guys. And that's kind of all that there is to the eyeshadow look. Super gold and shimmery um, center of the lid and then this light brown on the inner parts and outer parts of the eye. Super easy look. And I think what makes the look so pretty is the blue liner and then the blue glitter in the center. 
Um, so that will come, but first I am gonna go ahead and take the same brush that we set with, and I'm just gonna apply the same Dreamin' shade to the brow bone. But now we are gonna go ahead and apply mascara and lashes, and then we will be right back. So now that we have lashes and mascara on, we are gonna go ahead and get into foundation, and we're taking the Feel Good Skin um, foundation. I have mine in the one in the shade Light One Warm Yellow. So we're just gonna see how this works. I do feel like I've gotten lighter, but it's already about to be summer again, or starting to get warm here. Like today it's gonna be 84 degrees, and I think the lowest we have next week is in like the mid 60s, high 60s. Let me see. Oh no, actually there's supposed to be three rainy days next week and they will all be in the 50s. But for the most part, wow. For the most part, it's been in the upper 70s and 80s here lately. So the girl got to tan on her legs, but you see, it looks like it's gonna be my shade on my hand. So let's go ahead and apply it. And I don't even remember, I don't even know or remember how this wears by itself. Cause I was mixing it with that ordinary one. Well, that looks like it's actually a perfect match. Now, it was too light last time when I first bought it. I'm gonna have to do something about these breakouts because they're terrible. I feel like this gets lighter as it dries down and I think that that was the issue last time. Was I thought that it was the right shade, but for whatever reason, as it dries down, it gets lighter. It's like so weird, but okay. Now we're gonna get into the cream products as always. And we are just gonna take our LA Girl Pro Concealer that we chose out. I always get so nervous having to squeeze them out because a little bit of this goes a long way. I know it looks like very, very little, but y'all, this LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer goes such a long way. It's not even funny. Like I put way too much on my nose. Not gonna lie though, this foundation is looking really pretty by itself. It's just so light. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and go in with our e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick. And, oh, y'all, every time, every time, just taking that on our Alamod Cosmetics brush. And I don't even know what this brush is for. Bronzer brush, we're using it for a blush. I don't know why I didn't get a setting powder. I always forget to grab a freaking setting powder. We're just gonna use this, this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder and I'm not even gonna set, I guess I could set my whole face, but I'm gonna put concealer first cause I haven't even concealed. So let's go ahead and add our concealer. Got so many breakouts and they're not even like, no, like no breakout is pleasant, but these are the, hurt your face breakouts. Okay, so now taking the Charlotte Tilbury powder and we're taking the brightening brush from Alamod Cosmetics. We're just using all her brushes today, ain't we? Gonna go ahead and set underneath my eye. Lightly tap this all over our face. And that glow from that foundation is still coming through. Cause your girl didn't even use her priming sprays. Oh my gosh. <laughs> happens like every single video. Okay, so now to go ahead and finish up the lower lash line, let me take one more picture. One more look at the picture. Okay, so she does have a little bit of that brown underneath there, that purpley brown. So I'm gonna go back in right here with Beauty and just apply some of that to my lower lash line. All right, got that done. And now we're gonna go ahead and apply the blue eyeliner to the waterline. And this is just the Illuminati eyeliner in electric blue. And then, where's my lid for this? Gonna go ahead and apply the mascara to the lower lashes and then we'll do the inner corner. Whew, she has this blue on her inner corners and it's like a deep purpley blue. Let's use this one, this glitter in here. And yeah, that, she just has big chunks of glitter though. So let's try this one first. Apply this to our inner corners. So while that is cute, I need some bigger glitter. I think we're only gonna get that out of this palette. So let's use this, let's use that one. We're just gonna have to and hope for the best. 
Okay, that's that. Let's go ahead and bronze up our face, blush our face, and highlight our face. So we did go ahead and pick out the, the LA Girl Blushed Babe palette. I'm gonna take this one to bronze with. And then for blush, we're just gonna lightly take this one right here in the center, not in the center, but next to that bronzer. And then for highlighter, taking the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter on this Farrah highlighting brush. with our dark brown lip liner first. That's not it. Right here from e.l.f. and line our lips. Crazy thing is, I've actually been doing this lip, like I did this lip combo all weekend over the weekend. That's so, that's crazy, but yeah. I feel like a nude brown lip just goes with any look you could possibly do. But now we're gonna take my LA Girl Lip Liner in Cafe and we're just gonna fill in the center with that, but I need to make something a little bit lighter. We're gonna take the LA Girl one in Bare. Go ahead and apply gloss. I feel like that's not nude enough in the center. got an idea. So we're gonna apply this gloss all over first. I thought I had a more nude gloss, but I don't think I do, but we're going in with thin nudes. Everything is so brown that I have. One of them glosses is thick. I don't like a thick gloss. And I honestly think that's the best we're probably gonna get with that lip because, I mean, maybe I should did a purpley nude. Hers looks more like a purpley nude than a brownie nude. So hold on. Okay, so third time's the charm with the lips. Took off everything. And now what we're gonna do is we're taking these two Profusion lip liners. So one is in Secret and one is in Imagine. So we're gonna line for the darker part with Imagine. I think I need something still a little bit deeper. Okay, we're gonna take this one in Cabernet and we're just gonna try. Um, no, I don't really have anything that's actually like, like a stone purple cool tone color. Anyway, it's gonna go in with Secret now and just fill in the center. I've never even used this one. <laughs> Still so sharp. I might just have to use a liquid lipstick on the center of my lips because I know I have a new liquid lipstick. Now the question is just, do I use ColourPop Sunnyside or Sunnyside will fall a little bit. Let's use this one in Drippin' from Makeup Revolution. All right, y'all, that's just gonna have to do, we gonna, Curl our lashes, set the brows, set our face, and decide whether I want my bangs down or up. Thank you, person. All right, you guys, so we decided to go with the bangs back today i hope that you guys enjoyed this video this is how the look came out my looks never turn out exactly <laughs> like the look i'm trying to recreate but we are here and i still think that it's cute bryson said i look very pretty today so we're just gonna roll with that i love you guys so always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i can't wait to see you guys in next week shop my stash bye guys Mwah.